by Juicy is a dress up. It's okay. Let's do a perfume haul. So this is Toy Boy and this is... I started planning to throw Ivan a surprise party. Hello guys, welcome back to Vlogmas Day 18. Oh my god, 18. We're almost approaching 20 already. Um, it's so nice to wake up at home and get back into my routine. I'm actually dressed because I went for an event just now. I went for a Coco Dry event and I just got back. A uh, very quick event though because it's just a very quick event. Um, now guys, as you can see, my house is messy. Like... My house is like very level messy so I'm going to give myself one hour because the my whole routine has been slightly uh, a bit upside down not upside down, which is right side up <laughs> um, My routine has been a slight, slightly off because on my usual days where um, I'm not doing vlogmas my usual days, my cleaning time is actually at night so, um, you definitely would have seen it on like Instagram and stuff. I clean at night and that is my de-stressing time. But now with vlogmas, night time has become my editing time. So I've not been able to clean. Um, yeah. So basically, now we got to balance our life a bit. We got to find time to get things done because it's not acceptable for the house to be this messy and things to be everywhere. Um, so what we're going to do, I'm going to change into a bit more comfier clothes. I call it my cleaning outfit. And we're going to go and start putting everything in into place and getting back into our routine like I was telling you when things are cluttered my mind is cluttered and when things are messy I will not lepa in that spot example if the sofa is messy I will not sit on the sofa like I will avoid it I'll be like sitting somewhere else but then I like sitting on the sofa I want to watch a movie I want to chill so to do that I need everything to be in place so yes guys let's let's go ahead let's do that and um, I, it's also Apu's birthday today Apu is actually my cousin brother the one that you saw in Genting we, always, we call him Mapu. It's actually Apu's birthday today so we have to go and cut cake for him. So we have to see how to squeeze everything in today and I also have to edit so yeah. All the best to me. But yeah let's go. Let's change and let's go clean my house. I'm actually very hungry. I'm like so hungry. I'm like starving. It's uh, 12 47. I think I can be done with cleaning by... I'm giving myself an hour so let's say we start at 1. We give ourselves an hour until 2 and then we'll go from okay? Also the theme of the event was uh, holiday Christmas vibes like vacation but Christmas vibes so that's why as you can see, full of stuff. Dining tables are not supposed to be like this. We have to fold that tent today. And the sofa is another thing altogether. So guys, are you ready? Let's go. And I will not on the Christmas tree light until I do everything because that's like a reward. But I am going to put on a show because I cannot function if the background is quiet. I need music or like a Netflix show. Usually a Netflix show. I think we're going to do Gilmore Girls once again. Also guys, Sophie Paul will do later. That you don't find cause you got me I don't wanna break your little bubble But you gotta wake up to reality Cause I can see in your eyes Your head is full of dreams Tears are a proof of failure You just gotta let them flow without judge There's so many ways to be happy Trust the right, I don't have to be scary. 
I've just been here editing. Um, I'm so hungry. Ivan has actually already left. Why are you so zoomed in? Much better. Ivan has already left for his futsal tournament. I wanted to go and watch the futsal tournament actually. Usually I will never go. But today's tournament is um, somewhere near Klang, like Pandamaran there. And the road to go there is like a cray. Like you gotta go like, like this, like this, like this also. I thought never mind. So what I'm gonna do is I ordered food. We're gonna makan first. After makan, we're gonna edit this and then see if I manage my time well. If we can just go and visit the TikTok year end party and then we'll go to Kajang for Apu's birthday. If not, we'll see how la. We see how it goes because my main main priority is to settle the vlog. I'm not repeating the mistake that I did during the thing. I'm not doing that anymore. So we'll settle this. I think I just need another hour to edit this and then another hour to upload. So the timing should be okay la. Now we go makan. I'm just so hungry guys. Now I was editing and then I was so sleepy. So I just sat here and I, like, and I just slept like that. Mom okay, actually come back, came back already. She went for she went for coffee in the morning with her friend so she's back um kiran is also staying here today night i didn't show you kiran later later i'll show you i don't think we will see kiran today yeah i don't think we'll see ivan and kiran today because they will come back about eight o'clock but at but by the time we would have already left to kajang um and then ivan needs to change and then he's going to ragas today because he's got some clients coming there so yeah we'll only see both of them so we'll only see both of them tomorrow but it's okay let's more sunday tomorrow it's gonna be a nice day so let's go eat first oh yeah today we have to do the perfume haul i'm so excited i'm not even open guys i'm not sure i even open the perfume because i've been waiting for you okay there was a movie my mom was telling that is amazing it's called proud mary we're gonna watch proud mary and then we're gonna eat um yes let us eat i ordered from this place called anba satisori i ordered from this place called anba satisori i'm a satisori girl 100 percent it just feels very nostalgic you know when you're younger when your grandparents like Uti would run you, like they will do like that. I feel it's like that. Hi guys! Okay, so it is 7.40 p.m. I did all my work. A very productive day today. I did all my work. Um, I'm not wearing the same baju. I'm wearing a dress. I'll show you later. Because I had a comment just now. Someone commented on my Instagram. And this person asked me, Ash, why are you wearing the same jumper, the same sweatpants, the same Adidas set in all your vlogs? <laughs> Because I like the baju so much that sometimes I will repeat it. Actually, if you notice, that's what I do. If I like the baju, I will use it like, for a few days. I will wash it, guys. It's not that I don't wash it. I have a dryer. I usually wash it and reuse. Wash it, reuse. Because I just like that style for that time. Do you get me? Like, now I'm wearing this dress. I actually really like this dress. It comes with like a hoodie thingy. Like a very casual dress. Also perfume. I'm using Guest Noir. This one was a gift from CRG last Christmas. So, um, yeah, usually I will like wash, rewear, wash, rewear for the next next few days that's why you see me repeating actually because i like that baju at some time and then when i change i will like another baju something like that yeah so that's why and also i have this concept that if i wear it once it does not get dirty i don't know that, that does this make sense to anyone else like example the sephora jumper the top that i wore i just wore it for dinner and i was not in a place where there was smoke it was well air conditioned i came back on my chain so in my mind the baju is still clean and i don't want to wash it does it make sense so sometimes i do that as well that's why i took the red jumper to Genting and I used it uh, as my pyjamas with the set lah, with the pants set. But of course now after Sutrani in Genting, it will definitely go into the washer. Okay, tomorrow is hair wash day because my hair is like crap. I don't know in which vlog I spoke about it or did I even speak about it. I'm not sure. I know that in this generation, repeating outfits is like a, like a fashion faux pas. But honestly, I am an outfit repeater. I repeat my outfits like nobody's business. You will see the same outfit like a lot of times. So that's why. Okay, now I'm going to uh, just take my hand back and then we can go we are we're gonna go celebrate apu's birthday and then once we come back we will do our regular stuff like guys okay jump okay guys can you see this is my baju see it's a dress huh i'm not repeating okay jump
everybody how are you how are you feeling today how was your day how's your day going i actually can't wait to bathe though i need to bathe i actually can't wait to have like a nice hot shower uh Karen is actually in the hall he is uh watching some movie he wanted food so i ordered for him some food and i ordered a tetare i think i've been on a tetare kick i don't know why like i feel old i feel like last time only like the old uncles all will only ask for tetare <laughs> Like you know, literally like family function, you have only the old uncles like ask for tita. I feel I'm part of the old uncle gang down now. Also, let's talk about something. <laughs> um, I was coming back from Genting and then we got stuck in the jam and then we came back late, but that's not the point. That evening, um, I actually had an event to go to for Lifestyle Asia. It was like their year end bash, and the theme of the event was pajama core. Pajama car. I would have legit if I had, if I had made it back in time. I would have legit worn pajamas. Like I would have legit worn pajamas and go because I was thinking like pajama car. Why you want me to wear pajamas? And I was looking at everybody's pictures from the event today and everybody looks stunning. Like they have like furry baju and satin dresses and you know white satin and pink satin. I would have worn pajamas. Guys I would straight up would have worn pajamas for this event. And everybody looks stunning. And like can you imagine like they were all like furriness and I would have gone in this black and red pajama. That is so scary. Like now I'm thanking the gem for saving me. For saving my life for not going to the event because I would have dressed up like this. Oh my god. Oh my god. You know this reminds me if you watch Mean Girls, you know right when they threw the Halloween party in Mean Girls. Like Lindsay Lohan will think like Halloween means it's supposed to be super scary but actually everybody will wear like their sexiest outfit and make it like look very sexy and she turns up like a zombie bride. Yep. I would have been her. But thank God. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. In heaven and earth for like saving me. Also, you can see my eyes is tired. My eyes is sleepy because I am sleepy. But actually, the truth is, when I get into bed, I won't feel sleepy. Okay, no, we're doing the the perfume haul today. Don't worry, I got you. I know I've been making you wait. Like you've been waiting so long. Okay, let me just clean. Apparently, <laughs> my life is all about cleaning there. We also have a very big heels package outside. I've got a Bath and Body Works package. I've got basically so many unboxing to do. As usual, I will tell you tomorrow. <laughs> no, because today we're going to focus on the perfume. Okay, let me, I'm actually just, I just need to set up my edit because usually when I'm editing, like before I, I export, no, before I import all the footage, it will take time to import, kind of like when I put everything, it will take time. So I'm just going to click import and then we can get to going so that later when I sit to edit, I will go through it. But it's just that yesterday's vlog, I still don't know how I deleted the footage away. I still don't know. Like my mind is like, how? Why? Like why? Why did you do that? I'm just checking. I'm just checking. Just seeing if I have everything here. No. 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 Don't. Please don't tell me. No. 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 Ha. Uh, this is... This is the thing that I really, really don't like. I think even in the next vlog, I have deleted like a bunch of footages. Aiya. Come on, man. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. No. So heartbroken guys, so hard. I spent the last hour, it's like 1.30am now, it's literally 1.30am. So you da, so you. It's 1.28am. Spent the last hour trying to research and see how I can recover the files. <sighs> Never mind, it's okay. The only way I'm gonna do this is I gotta basically reshoot everything. It's just so sad. <laughs> no, this is actually a lesson. A lesson to me because, and it's not even a lesson, you know, it's a repeated lesson. I've been through this before. I've been through losing my files. I, sh I should have double checked. It's just a lesson to not reformat without 100% assurance. So it's fine. It's fine. It happens. I will get through this. I'm learning from my lesson. It's okay, guys. Now let's uh, pick ourselves up and let's do a perfume haul. It's okay. Let's do a perfume haul. <laughs> okay, this is all. 
my perfume haul. Basically, the money that I spent buying all this perfume equals to one bougie perfume. So in my brain, the math works. Okay. The first I got this Versace, Ver Versace. What what is Versace? Versace Blue Jeans perfume. I smelled this and I thought that Ivan would really like it because it comes in this cute little bottle. Although it's very small, it's a 75 ml. Eh, no, 75 ml. Okay, because normal is about 100 ml. This is Versace Blue Jeans. This is Versace Blue Jeans. Look at the bottle. Bottle. The bottle looks like a bottle, like a bottle. Let's smell it. Oh yeah, I remember when I smelt it in uh, the warehouse sale, I sort of thought like, oh, this is actually very nice. And everybody on the live that day was recommending this. So I got this for Ivan. And this was only 75 bucks. Girl. So Versace blue jeans for Ivan. Okay. <laughs> Okay, now we'll do, oh my gosh. Okay, we'll do Juicy Couture first. Now, this is Viva La Juicy Gold Couture. I don't have any Juicy Couture perfumes. But I have to agree with Juicy Couture, one of the main reasons I got the perfume was the packaging. Look at this. Look, like, excuse me, look at this bottle. <gasps> it's like, it's, it's a very sturdy, heavy bottle. And if you're a perfume person, you will understand the importance of the bottle as much as the perfume. Okay, so let's spray this. Yeah, it, so what I've learned with Juicy Couture is um, everything smells a bit sweet. I'm not a sweet, sweet girl, but um, this is what the girls there recommended when I told them like I like something a bit more deeper. My, my natural sense of perfume are muskier, it's spicy, it's warm. It's almost a unisex perfume, a lot of my perfumes actually. This is sweet. This is like, this is like sweet floral. But I also feel this smells like Versace Bright Crystal. I don't know, I could be wrong, but yeah. We've got this. Okay, and then I got Replica. Replica was there, guys. Replica was there. Mason Margiela. Mason Margiela. Um, as you know, I'm a collector of perfumes. You can see my perfume collection back there. Mm, ignore the towel and I like the replica bottles so this is just adding to my collection I have lazy Sunday morning bubble bath and on a date yeah so this is whispers in a library Ooh, look at the bottle look at the color look at the bottle look at the color okay so this these notes are paper and waxed wood that's what the description is like the fragrance description because it's whispers in a library so you're thinking library wood spice it's it's a very strong perfume i'm gonna just spray it here because i want to smell it again i should get like those small papers for me to like do this kinds of stuff it's a very strong scent. Oh my gosh, I like this. Yes, it's a very strong scent. It almost smells unisex actually. This smells a bit like my Dior Spice Blend. A bit, a bit. Okay, so Mason Margiela replica perfumes are usually around 600 ringgit. And I got it for 250 at the sale. So this is why I got it because I was like, no, I, I need this in my life. So got this. And I also got a uh, replica per, uh, candle. I've learned while vlogging that when I'm opening plastic, do not talk. Because the sound gets very weird. I can smell it from inside. Okay. <gasps> this. Oh my gosh. So... This is a, a candle. This is the fragrance Lazy on Sunday morning. Something like that. Lazy Sunday morning. Lazy Sunday morning is Replica's signature scent, I would say. Or one of their most famous scents. The description is soft skin and bed linen. Guys, this actually smells like a lazy Sunday morning. Like a very, like on your linens, in your bed. You're feeling very cozy. It's got a scent of freshness towards it. It's, um, it's a very calming a very soothing very relaxing candles and this candle is expensive it's expensive i think it's about 300 400 i got it for 90 bucks 90 friend 90 Sembilan pulo. also i've seen in like you know all those aesthetic vlogs um they will be lighting a replica candle now i can light the candle too okay now uh the last two is the Moschino. I heard someone pronounce it as Moschino. If I'm pronouncing it wrongly, please tell me. Okay, so I basically got a uh, Moschino Toy Boy and Moschino Toy 2. Moschino, Moschino. I have never tried Moschino fragrances. I've seen their packaging before. I've never tried them because I think... I thought it always looked a bit childish, but this is what it looks like. <gasps> Guys, this is like legit teddy bears. So this is Toy Boy and this is Toy 2. Um, okay, let's smell it. So they also have a pink one that's quite famous. It's the 
bubble gum. Um, this is so good. Uh, what did I think it was bigger? I don't know. I feel like it was bigger. Oh my gosh oh my gosh yes 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 you know how they say fragrances are linked to a memory like sometimes when you smell certain things it it sparks a memory so my mother used to have one crabtree and evelyn perfume that was gifted to her by someone and she wore it all the time this is what it smells like i am i'm impressed these are the notes guys i'm gonna leave the notes on the screen yes i don't know how to even explain what this fragrance is but i think the notes will definitely do better i think that's the thing i have that's my issue with fragrances like i love fragrances but i find it hard to describe certain things like this one i don't know how to describe it and i'm not gonna google it and pretend like i know everything but no guys i know i don't know but i love this yes okay so this is what blew me away this was the one that was on my sleeve if you watch the vlog of me going around it was i think the sephora christmas dinner vlog day 15 or 14 something like that i had actually sprayed this on my hand and then i went about doing my work and i smelled this the entire day literally the entire day these are the notes this is reminding me of college days. I think maybe someone was using this when I was in college. I actually ordered Food Panda for Kieran. The Food Panda guy. Okay, done. Thank you. <laughs> done what, sir? <laughs> Where you put it, sir? Please show me. Yes, I think someone was using this in my college days. I think so. I really, really think so. It's a very sweet fragrance but it's the kind that is sweet and sexy it's not sweet and sugary it's sweet and sexy i love this i i am in love with this but yes guys that is that is my perfume haul um yes i know at this point i have an addiction i love perfume um uh, this is my what do they call this i don't know there's a name for this like like the thing you like to collect in life i know i have a lot of everything else like makeup bag blah 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 blah, blah. but the thing i like to collect and the thing that i'm really passionate about is perfumes so now the thing is i don't have space there i have zero space there um tomorrow why not we after we clean the room we will sit and sort that out also there's something else i want to talk to you about let me shut down on my laptop go to the room and we'll see about it because it's a very important thing important i need to do important okay bye. Feeling good, feeling a bit sad that I misplaced the uh, misplaced, like I deleted that footage. So, anyways, I thought we can just go through some comments together before I go to sleep. That'd be nice for me to just talk to you. What's the perfume name? I think the perfume name was the Moschino uh, Toy 2. It was the white color bottle just now we opened, right? Um, it was that one. Should I say like who commented and you know it's your question? Should I? Should I do that? Um, Michael, Michaela Denise asked um, story time on how you and your circle of friends met and became close. So I was thinking for this because we are our annual sleepover is um, coming. So I was thinking like I should ask the girls to actually tell like their version of the story as well so you can hear it from all of us there's actually six of us um it's it's sha Kesh, sia cherry sha and joyce uh, joyce and i so i think we'll ask them this question but long story short it's basically we are all instagram friends we met up one day for coffee it was more like a um oh we are going for coffee would you like to join and then that's how it started and six of us came together and then we realized that we really enjoyed the first coffee date and we kept meeting for coffee and yeah the rest is history that is the the shot the shot the shot version anita says um doggy is so cute loves that love that the vlogs feel authentic thank you i'm trying to keep it as real as possible so it's not going to be it's not going to be like super aesthetic all the time because um i think being a content creator is very messy like physically the job requires 
causes a lot of mess because you get a lot of stuff you're always rushing for time or at least me lah or maybe i'm doing it wrong i still don't know i feel i'm i'm i feel i'm all over the place sometimes and 0310 asks what am i subscribed to netflix and um so we are subscribed to netflix disney hotstar amazon prime I think because I have my all my favorite shows scattered across like Netflix has the Gilmore Girls, Disney Hotstar has a new girl so I can't pick the best. How way us can we have an answering couples questions video please? Can just comment your questions down below and I'll definitely definitely go through it. Okay, let's quickly die. Oh the thing I wanted to talk to you about oh my god, I gotta talk very quickly before the battery dies tomorrow i'm actually i'm planning not planning i have already started planning to throw ivan a surprise party so that is happening tomorrow tomorrow we're gonna do a surprise party for ivan so morning i'm gonna wake up i've got two events i need to cover we'll settle that and then i need to bake it's a very simple thing actually i'm gonna order the food tomorrow and then i just gotta coordinate who's coming how we're gonna surprise him that's about it it's gonna be a very chill easy one because i'm not going to stress myself out i already have so many things on my plate but i think it'll be nice to do something for him because he is the sweetest sweetest man ever um he is my best friend and i think he deserves the best so i'm inviting everybody that is very very close to his heart and yeah so tomorrow we'll do his surprise party i'm just trying to figure out like how to surprise him but that part we will eventually we'll figure it out together okay guys so yeah that's what we're talking about we want. yes guys thank you so much for watching until here i love you um so glad you're enjoying the vlogs leave some more questions for me so that we can discuss and i'll see you guys in my next video bye oh my god i just remembered we have not opened the advent calendar for two three days amazing amazing ash amazing we'll do that tomorrow okay.